Hello, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled, What's New in SAP PLM Enhancement Pack 7 and Enhancement Pack 8? In today's webinar, you will learn about the new and upcoming developments in the SAP PLM solution, which further enhances the capabilities of engineering records, product structure synchronization, product structure management, and other SAP PLM solutions. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in their SAP solutions. Okay. So welcome to this uh, webinar. Uh, I work in the solution management team, uh, as Ralph just mentioned, uh, based here out of uh, Waldorf in uh, Germany. So over the next uh, 45 minutes or so, uh, along with uh, Dave from Liverex, uh, would like to give an overview of some of the latest uh, innovations and uh, enhancements uh, that we have in the area of uh, uh, PLM. So uh, just as a backdrop, uh, SAP has an uh, elaborate uh, framework in terms of uh, introducing uh, innovations uh, to the market. Uh, there are a whole lot of uh, co-innovation programs uh, that we have uh, done with uh, many of uh, you uh, to bring out uh, the new capabilities and uh, new product uh, into the market. And uh, we also continuously uh, renovate our uh, solutions and bring in inc incremental innovation uh, through what we term as uh, customer connection uh, initiatives. Uh, so all these are part of uh, the broader uh, strategy, uh, what we call it as uh, uh, Influence SAP, uh, which helps us to shape the solution, uh, taking into uh, in, taking into consideration the the various inputs that we hear uh, from 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 the customers. Uh, hopefully, uh, you would have heard about uh, the customer uh, connection programs and the customer engagement uh, initiative. Uh, you can find, obviously, more information regarding this um, in our uh, influence.sap.com. So, uh, we introduced uh, PLM uh, Web UI uh, quite many years ago. It's a fairly mature uh, solution uh, implemented at various uh, uh, customer situations by our partners like uh, Liverex. Um, and what we've done in the last uh, year or so is to uh, take in the input from the various customer situations, uh, onboarded them to the customer connection uh, programs that we have, and uh, introduced a whole lot of uh, uh, innovations on some of the key topics uh, related to the PLM. Uh, so the primary topics are uh, around the change management, uh, so the engineering record, which is part of uh, uh, PLM, uh, then product structure management and our handover to manufacturing capability, which is product structure synchronization. And uh, we also have introduced uh, new innovations in the EHP 7, EHP 8 scenario for uh, document management system, the classical DMS, uh, where we in have now introduced the capability to link and collaborate with uh, a document center or the mobile documents as it is also called um, which is a cloud-based capability and uh, we have done some significant uh, development in that direction. We'll speak about that uh, more when we come to it. So this is just a, a quick uh, overview of some of the key enhancements uh, what we have done over uh, the past year and a half uh, especially with respect uh, to the PLM uh, topics, leveraging the influence program. So as a level set uh, engineering record, uh, you no, know, primarily uh, a tool to carry out the processes related to the uh, product change uh, within the context of uh, the organization. Uh, we introduced this along with uh, the PLM web UI. Uh, this is natively integrated uh, and, and works cohesively with the classical change management uh, that most of uh, you are aware of. Um, primarily, this is meant uh, to facilitate uh, not only carrying out the change process by bringing in 
um, different objects that are associated with change, uh, which is obviously the purpose, but more importantly to also uh, bring in the relevant stakeholders and uh, facilitate a smooth collaboration between these stakeholders uh, by, by providing the powerful workflow uh, capability. So the ad hoc workflow capability uh, tremendously simplifies the way uh, the stakeholders within the organization can collaborate on, especially when it comes to uh, change. Um, so we extended the change management capability of the engineering record uh, to all the PLM objects uh, in the web UI, primarily the document, the material, then the product structure uh, uh, management, uh, and so on. So uh, while this gained uh, traction at, uh, at, at the customers, uh, there were also a lot of additional requests in terms of uh, how can we better uh, enhance the capabilities, especially with respect to the uh, workflow and uh, with respect to some of the automation uh, that can happen in the context of uh, the engineering record. Uh, so we simplified uh, the way uh, these uh, workflows can be uh, uh, triggered and also uh, leverage the capabilities of uh, uh, some of the rule enforcers, uh, what is typically uh, used. Uh, to further strengthen the ad hoc uh, workflow capability. And we'll see to uh, it in a minute. OK. All right, Vinay, thank you once again for that, that great overview about uh, what's new in uh, Enhancement Pack 7 and 8 with SAP PLM. So let's go in and take a quick look at SAP's mobile document solution. So I'm just going to come over here, open up a new tab, and log in as a user. So you can see I had logged in earlier so I'd remembered my uh, login. So there's an ID and password that you have to have so you have all the, the security things you need that tr you know traditional uh, you know, enterprise systems should have uh, in them. Uh, and then over here on your left you have, a, you have your area of where you're working. So it's pretty straightforward. You know this is my documents where you're not sharing with anybody. Your corporate, your shared, and trash can. And then down below you have a couple other things and we'll, we'll get to these in a second. So let's just go to corporate and I'm going to log into my shared area. So let's say this is the area where internally I, I want to share um, information with uh, my people. And here's my personal folder. So I'm going to open that. So I'm going to come down here and go create and I'm going to create a new folder. So, uh, so this will be Vinay underscore webinar 2016. 